Evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. Joined again by Nog. Hello there. Hello, hello. Hello, and uh, we have just had a biter attack off camera here, uh, down where the uh, iron mines are going, and they've stolen more of our stuff. So, uh, I think this episode I'm going to try and build a wall and get some turrets going, and uh, he was going to sort out some ammunition or something? Was it? Yeah. Uh, I'll get some ammunition, ammunition sorted, and I think I'll s try and start on the, getting the green science going as well, so that we keep progressing on on the science. Ooh. Right. Cool. Cool. Sense. You know. Hopefully, stop these bikes attack. Yeah, they are very nice. annoying. Yeah. It's not like we're coming in and polluting their planet or doing anything terribly wrong, is it? We just... You know, no, exactly. We're being just, nice, just friendly neighbours. Yeah, friendly visitors with, with them. Yeah. So, alright. Okay, so, ammo... What is it we need to make ammo? Oh, it's just iron plate. Alright. I guess I can do that. So we have fast inserters now, which is great. I've got to say, that research is going really quickly. Uh, yes, it is. Because we, we built for speed. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think at this stage I'd have like one automated science place and be really happy with it. Uh, you, you've gone for like 300 straight off the bat. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, go bigger, go why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> We're going to need him. So. Okay. So we almost have ammo production. Cool. It's... We need robots so I can just ask for iron plates and they bring it. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. That is so nice when you get those. So we have ammo production. It's temporary, but it's being produced. We have steel. Cool. Going for heavy armor. Oh, I have 10 science packs on me. Okay. Now, green science. We need one transport belt, one inserter for that. Okay. Ooh, one thing we should set up is uh, radars as well. Completely forgot about that. Yes, yeah, that would help. Just to get a bit of viewing range. would let us know where they're trying to murder us next. Yeah. I see that they're attacking down at your area. Uh, don't see what... Oh. The, oh. It's funny, it that didn't give weird. a warning. Yeah. Uh, there, there, there was one biter going around attacking... Oh, really? The odd thing. I couldn't see it. I was like, oh... <laughs> I just saw the warning signs on the minimap. I was going to say, because I, I saw it, I'm like, I'm right next to that. Why can I not see him? Why? Oh, there they are. Mm. 
I'll bring you down some ammo and stuff for the or some turrets. Not that we have that much ammo yet, but there's some. Stupid trees. Yeah, navigating through the forest is a bit of a pain. Yeah. Oh, and a turret. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna. Um, I might put him down. And then build all around him, but I'll, I'll put him down back here somewhere so the bite's gotta get really close first. Yeah. Because, uh. Then I can help him out. Uh. Just trying to get some wall building going on, but. Keep having to run back up to the top to pick up iron and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, I don't have that much iron on me. It's okay. I should have enough bits and pieces to do what I need to now. Hopefully. I put a couple of hundred copper plates, and I also put four turrets in the in the chest there. Oh, thank you. I'll stick down another radar up here. Okay, that's good. So we now have a bit of sight. Steel axes, which means that we are going to be working faster. Awesome. That's useful. And I'll just do everything that's just the uh, post red science, right? Yes, yeah, so we can get some. Uh... So we can get some green science going. What's the green science actually called now? Mm. Oh, logistic science pack. So, what's the weather like in England at the moment? Uh, I, I, uh, I'd have to look out the window then, wouldn't I? Uh, <laughs> it's actually really sunny today, which is nice. It's been really badly raining last couple of days. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice change. Yeah, I bet. British summertime is usually uh, soaking wet and horrible all the time, but yeah. yeah. What about you? You're... Uh, the, well, not quite the other side of the world, but uh... no, but it's close. Uh, yeah, I'm in Thailand, so uh, there's a, it's a bit bit away, and uh, we are having uh, we're it's rainy season rainy season here at the moment. But I mean, rainy season in Thailand basically means it rains a half to one hour every day, uh, usually just around the time that you need to go home from work. Uh, which is a little bit annoying because you go home from work on a motorbike. Ah, oh, lovely. Ah, so yeah. So the rainy season there is is just British summertime for us, really. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Raining when you want it the least. Exactly, exactly. Uh, but uh, I guess it rains about about as much in that half to one hour as it does in a couple of days, full days of rain in Denmark. So It's really heavy so yeah, rain. So heavy, lots, lots of heavy rain. Oh. Yeah. Right. 
Feels like a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Well, it's fine. Doesn't really matter that much except when you want to go home and you can't. <laughs> One time I uh, I jump on the back of a motorbike. It's a, it's a motorbike taxi I take, right? Uh, to get home, it's a five minute, ten minute bike ride when it when the traffic is really bad. And uh, when I got on the motorbike, it wasn't raining at all. When I got off, I was so soaked that I, when I took out my laptop of my backpack, water was running out the bottom of it. Oh. Oh, that's 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 very wet. Yeah, that's. Uh... <laughs> yeah, and that was like five minutes on the back of a motorbike, max. Okay, yeah. So that's a uh, torrential rain. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is, and luckily, leaving the laptop to dry overnight was enough to save it, but the mouse was dead because, uh, yeah, that was just a flood rounding out that's... of there as well. That's quite surprising, actually. Usually they are uh, quite susceptible to uh, water. You know, yeah, they are. Uh, they they uh, don't like it at all. So. It's not like, not like the old days where you could throw your old Commodore or something in the bathtub and wash it and bring it back and it'll work fine. No, exactly. It was good times with the Commodore, though. Oh, yes. Yeah, I remember the old, the old Commodore. and uh, I remember actually having a, a Mega Drive that used to play about on me all the time and muck about and I got fed up with it and literally threw it in the bath. Oh really? Uh, and, and left it outside for about a week to dry off and mm -hmm. uh, then it, it never played up again so okay. I guess it learned it. <laughs> <laughs> learned its lesson. <laughs> oh. oh they're at it again. Come on we got a turret now. You didn't like that did you? There we go. I still managed to get some things though. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. You kind of need to. I I usually like just build a massive wall around everything, and then I put the the um, the ammo. I put that on belts, going to all of the different turrets from where I produce the ammo, and just have uh, uh, inserters feed feed the the turrets. It's a hot that makes mess. Sense. That's, 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 that makes perfect sense, actually. Having having a belt go around, uh, grabbing all the stuff off of them. Yeah. It makes sense. So you can just uh, you can just go. Hey, look. There you go. There's there's everything you need. Yeah. Deal with those spiders for me. Exactly. Okay, so I'm being really, really bad <clears throat> at um, trying to figure out how to build a wall here because I'm trying to automate the building of the brick, and my brain's just going, "This isn't right. This, this something is wrong here." And uh, <laughs> you, you, you need more than what <clears throat> you need more than what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you, you need quite a lot of stone brick or a stone to make one uh, stone wall. Yeah, that, that's that's I'm, I'm building it sort of like going. Oh yeah, five five will be enough. No, five no, is no, not no. enough. So transport belt takes half a second, and you make two. If you only make one. Okay. Insert needs iron gear wheel iron. And Fort Belt needs iron gear wheel. There we go. Right. Okay. So that that must have been painful to watch. Um, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You have fighters yeah, incoming. That was, that was yeah. Uh, where? Oh, there. Right. 
looks pretty good. Put, put down more uh, stone because I did have more, and they came and ate them. <laughs> isn't isn't very friendly. No, they are not very hospitable. Ooh. We have quite big spider base to the left, I think. Or to the I guess it's the west. A couple to the south. Nothing really to the north yet. Yeah. Don't like the pollution. No, they really don't. They really don't. I think we're capping out on our electric. Oh, you are probably right. I think, yeah, I'm getting yellow bars on things over here now. Okay. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll fix it. Just need some... Uh, if you need... Uh, Belts, let me know because I have uh, twelve hundred on me. Oh, okay. Um, I, I, I just came up thinking, oh, I might grab some of those because there's four hundred in that box there. So, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> let's see. We can just do that. There you go. It's always nice to have some on me. Yeah. Hmm. Stuck on a belt there, that was quick. Uh, what do we have there? Oh, I came all the way up there for iron plates and didn't grab any. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. Right. Alright, so that's everything just requiring red science that's been researched. So power should be getting better again in a second. Uh, yep, everything looks great. Awesome. Okay. made some lights as well so I'll light up the place a little bit <laughs> uh, 
Ow. Is this wall wet? It is not. Still going quite slow. Okay, so we're finally getting walls being built down here. All right, that's good. Some down and we. Uh, that is perfect. At least have a single line of the fence. Yay! Finally. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's going to be very yeah, useful. Trees are... You got to clear out some of these trees at first. In the way. Yeah. Wow, we are not producing enough iron. Uh, I can put down a couple more iron miners. Uh, yeah, I think that would be good. Probably as many as possible, really. Uh, yeah, there's lo loads of space down here for them. Just haven't fill them out yet. to be copper wire or copper cable there mm -hmm. okay and these need to be circuits uh, there uh, is it still possible to funnel the biters as in like leave a gap in the wall and they'll go for the gap uh, I don't or do they just attack the wall now I think they just attack the wall now ah, right because remember before, you, you you could basically funnel them into a big long tunnel and just put turrets on either side. Oh, really? Um, I was not aware of that, but it sounds like a good tactic. Yeah, you can leave like one one entrance to the base and then have uh, like a wall going backwards and mm -hmm. do that. And they would come down that entrance, but I don't know. I'll give it a try. I don't know. Don't know if it's still possible or not. Me neither. Just mm. the girders. Oops. Oh, okay, nope, that answers my question. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work? It didn't work. There's a big hole in the wall, and no, they're going. For the wall. Okay. Yeah, they just. Okay. Uh, some long handed inserters. Can I make that? And that actually means that everything is wrong. Dang it. Oh, man. All right, never mind. Oh crap. Uh... 
Did you put all my ammo in a bloody turret? Oh. <laughs> I think, isn't it yeah, shift so that you they, can do half? They or... just literally go for the walls. There, there, there was... They, they could have walked, like, two squares down and attacked me, and they're just attacking the walls. Oh, okay. Doesn't work. Okay, so... Eh? So we've got ammo being produced here somewhere. Yeah, uh, up uh, here there are two machines right on the on the bus main bus line up where I am now, <laughs> and then there's a uh, yeah five four hundred and something ammo in there. So steal all that. Okay. Uh, I do think, however, it would be the bomb now. Damn it! Um, that your where your building is going to be a priority for them as well because it's quite close. Yeah. So, so we I think we need to defend up here as well. Damn it! Bad biters. And then we need to make green signs. Okay. Oh, I need a long handed inserter here. Oh, you don't need. Oh, yeah, you do. You just need a long-handed inserter as well. There we go. All right. Oh, you got the green stuff? Uh, well, I have a transport belt and inserters being made, and now I need to set up the green stuff to, to use those. So, almost. Uh, almost. So, see, that's 12 machines we need of the green ones. Right. So, I need to make more assemblers. I need to make more assemblers. Okay, so if we do one, like this, that should give us 12, and I am almost done with the greens. Cool, cool. Okay, I'm just going to put in some more uh, mining drills the iron. Yeah. And we'll run it down here. And in that. Man, I need a source. Uh...
And all we need now is some power. And we will be producing green science. Awesome. Uh, you're just in time for another episode, I think. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Okay. And let's just... Let's just see the first green science roll off the belt, right? There we go. And there is our very first green science pack. Awesome. So, let's research military too, just for kicks, just to see that the green science is actually being used. Cool. Adding more iron on, hopefully, if I stop getting moved about by all the belts, that'll be helpful. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are researching military two now. Excellent. Uh, there we go. That is about a bit better. Yeah. Well, let me just come down and see what you're doing. I'm gonna come up and see what you're doing. Okay. That works pretty well. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's so a good wall. We've got... Yeah, it's only one thick at the moment. I need to make it two, really. But Oh, God. Oh, God. There are lots and lots and lots of fighters here. Oh, damn it. Can you take them out? I'm trying, but I'm getting an awful lot of lag, actually. Oh, really? Uh, run away, run away. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kept getting chopped back into, in, into them. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, but that's a good place to end the episode, isn't it? I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it is. I suppose it is. All right, so we definitely need to set up some defense up here as well. Yes. Yes, yeah. I, th I thought that would be the next sort of priority for them. I'm like, oh, that's pretty close. Yeah. All and, right. Uh, just as I walk over and see what you're doing. Hey, look, there's an army. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Bad timing. Yeah. Yeah, just with all them coming at me at once, I've got some weird... Uh, every time I kept running away from them, I kept teleporting back into them. Okay. That's pretty strange. All right, but uh, should Where's we... Where's my body? Oh, yeah. Before you log out. There oh, there we go. Got it. Okay, good. Cool. All right. So, should we wrap up the episode here, or...? Uh, yes. Yep, yeah, that's uh, the... the gone half an hour mark. Yeah. Awesome. So we've got our green science coming in and doing bits and pieces and uh Oh gates. We should research gates. Gates are useful. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead and Right. Okie dokie. So um yeah. Uh thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next time and uh I hope you've had fun too, Nog. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh... Okay, and uh until then, as always, have fun. You too.